Okay, well, it's been a while since we've done one of these videos. Uh, unfortunately, I've actually just tried logging in, and then because this thing is actually so far quite legit, it requires an actual real phone number, right? So the only way I was able to log in is to actually log in with my real, with my real stuff, and I actually don't want to do that, all right? Because this thing is going to show all my actual personal financial stuff, so I'm not even going to risk that. Uh, which sucks because that basically means this video is not going to be as informative as I normally would like. So unfortunately, you'll have to maybe find a different YouTuber that'll show you that's willing to show you their financials to show you around the website. Uh, but with that being said, um, well, I guess at least that means at least I can keep this video very short. So basically, you can kind of just ignore. I mean, if you really want, you can just look at their front page. But right now. First and foremost, I really thought this could, this very well could still be like a Ponzi scheme, right? A scam, but a very well designed one. And it certainly doesn't help to still follow the rule that I always have, which is every project you invest in, assume that's a scam, and then work backwards from there until you can prove that it's actually legit, right? So you can even apply that thinking in the stock market, right? Let's say you think Microsoft's a scam. Okay, fine. All right, and then work backwards from there and look for uh, both why is it a scam and why is it not a scam. And then eventually you'll find, oh, okay, it's a legitimate company. All right, so with this, I mean, there was a YouTube video guy that said uh, he actually focuses on crypto scams, but then he had a close friend that does crypto buy this project. And then long story short, this the guy who reviews scams like blasts and exposes them, he actually put in like 200,000 Polygon of his own money. So, unfortunately, I don't have the URL on me. Uh, with that being said, oh, okay, I'm ready to whack that boss. So, all right. Um, okay, uh, that works for me. Now, supposedly, the Claim to Fame Stable Fund app is they have like an actual trading bot, which they don't tell anyone about. So, it's like, oh man, I've been through this rabbit hole before. <clears throat> now, if he's legitimate, then yeah, you do want to keep it private because you keep all the money for yourself. Then the only reason why you want other people's money is you want to accelerate your gains faster. All right. Uh, on the other hand, I know a lot of scammers claim all sorts of things. You know, we got a Fortune 500, like you know, like Golden Finance. Oh, you know, we got trading box. That's another common lie. So it's like a lot of, so there's always like a lot of risk. I mean, there's always going to be some kind of risk involved. But with that being said, the, oh, I know what I can do, actually. I can get you the contract sizes. So here's Polygon. I'll actually link to these. And here's Binance Dollar. Okay. So unfortunately, because I can't really log into this account unless I use my real account, and there's no way in hell I'm going to do that. Uh, basically, stable fund, you just simply put in... Oh, okay, it just takes it scrolls me down here. So basically, you just put in whatever, right? Uh, right now, they support Polygon. Okay, where is dark mode? I'm going to go blind looking at this. Oh, thank God. So right now, they do Polygon, and they do uh, Binance Dollar. So you just put in, like, let's say you put in 1,000 Polygon. It'll start earning 1.5% daily uh, Polygon, all right? And then you... And then it actually earns it constantly, so you can pull out whenever you want. Obviously, though, it, you would probably want to wait till it's like somewhat sizable. Uh, yeah, and then of course it has the same thing with Binance Dollar, which is what I'm in. I'm starting to build up my Polygon position on stable, uh, stable coin, stable fund app, right? Because uh, BNB miner is now just draining. It's it, it's peaked. In my opinion, it's peaked. So now I'm just pulling all the money out from it and just let my TVL drop to whatever. All right. At some point, it'll bottom out. So what's interesting about Stable Fund app is they have their own crypto wallet, and you can actually get it on the iOS. Uh, I thought they said the mobile app was already live. Yeah, it's already. Yeah. Oh, he didn't update the website links, but down here. So here's the Apple Eye Store for Stable Fund app. It's got some ratings. And then here's the Stable Fund app on Google Play. And then here's some ratings. So you can actually buy crypto through their app, right? I think you can use a credit card, but that's obviously going to be KYC'd. And it's through uh, 
I don't even remember because uh, I'm obviously not going to buy. Like, why would I need to do that? Also, I don't think my credit card is going to appreciate me doing something really weird. All right, it's going to trip up all sorts of flags. So I don't want to deal with that either. And I, there's no need to. I already, I can already get crypto from fiat to crypto to crypto to fiat anyway, pretty easily. So, so I mean, it does look pretty legit. And supposedly, this is just a rumor, but supposedly the guy who's running this, right, the dev, I forgot the guy, dev's name that was mentioned by that video, but he's in the talks with the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission. All right, well, I mean... I mean, technically, that is true. The uh... man, I don't even remember the name of that wallet I used to use. Um, it's not a Kepler wallet, is it? Uh, the Exodus wallet, yeah. The Exodus wallet is actually like in uh, what actually filed some paperwork at the SEC, and they're technically public, and then you can buy shares or something like that. So I'm thinking that this guy, if he's legit, is doing the same thing. If he does get SEC approval, then I know, then I will personally know 100% without a doubt that this is legit, right? Because I'm pretty sure the SEC is going to ask, okay, show us the effing bot, all right? So, because we're the SEC, so we get access to everything. We won't tell nobody, but we we, we need to see what you're doing, all right? Because you know, the SEC, they don't play around. I don't like them, but they still don't play around. So, so pretty much when you sign up, right? I'm going to hit the sign up button here. All right. Um, I don't know if you want to use your fake. I mean, I put in a, say a fake name, but you have to put a real email, a real password, of course. And of course, when you hit the register button, it's going to ask you for your phone number. So you have to have a phone number uh, ready. So you should use a real phone number. Now, the Stable Fund app is actually a wallet. They have their own wallet software. So whenever you need to stake. You need to actually send yourself crypto. So you want to stake Binance dollars in the contract. Let's see, 2.591. All right, just went up $4,000. And you can see the transactions here. We want in and out. It's actually pretty nice. I really like this. All right. So, <clears throat> so between Titano and this, because BNB Miner is going to go back to the bottom again, uh, this is going to be my new income source. So. Always, always gotta keep an open mind. Always gotta be on the lookout for new shit, all right? Because this is this is how you win the game of life, all right? And hopefully you can ride out this stupid recession or possible Great Depression. Uh, three six nine one two. Oh man, I just want to see if this goes up or down. Yeah, so it goes down slightly. Um, yeah, so man, there's so much to cover, but I'm trying to get it through quickly. Yeah, so you have to send yourself crypto to stable fund because this is an actual wallet. So had you actually downloaded the wallet uh, app for your mobile phone here, it's the same thing. And then when you stake, it takes the gas freeze from the BNB or the Polygon that you deposited into this uh, wallet. Because the, the website is really just a is the PC version of the wallet for stable fund. And then once you stake it, you know, you just put in one, and then you earn 1.5% forever. So, what are the caveats? I'll put, I'll make sure I'll put it in the YouTube description because it's more important that I explain what this is rather than you know the the details. There's a 3% tax on deposits, and I assume that there's a 3% tax on withdrawals. All right, it even says somewhere in the fact if we could find their site because we still have to fix it up. Uh, there's a 3% tax on just about everything. There is no compounding, and there's no referrals. So that's actually good. So uh, that basically means if you need to compound, you have to withdraw your rewards, right? That's a 3% tax, and then put it back in. That's another 3% tax. And you're going to be paying gas fees each action. So it does look pretty legit, and it's quite sustainable because there was another project that also pays like 1.5% a day. I think it's called like Phoenix something. And they claim the exact same BS, but they said they've been around for 200 days. So that site's still going, and I don't see, uh, when I did the YouTube search on that one time, I was like, okay, well, people haven't said it's a Ponzi, but I just thought it was a Ponzi, so I just blew it off. All right. I think it was called Phoenix something. I don't really remember the name. But this one, I think I'd rather be comfortable, more comfortable doing this one. So, I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. Because usually these Ponzi's, I mean, you want to get in early, not late. 
So this launched in like April 28th, I think. Sometime in April, so just a couple months ago. So still quite young, and I'm still seeing, you know, you know, good, uh, you know, good growth here. So the Polygon contract I'm going to be watching. I think this just went. Can you see this on the right hand side? Yeah, I gotta be careful about scrolling too fast because my camera's covering it. So there's a lot of Matic going in, 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 in. I mean, there's just endless amounts of money coming in. <clears throat> Claim all reward. Okay. All right, so this thing is draining because people are claiming the rewards. Uh, oh, yeah, so in addition to the tax, when as soon as you deposit, there's a 28-day waiting period before you can withdraw your initial principal. So... From what I can tell, you could just leave it in there beyond 28 days. That's what I'm going to do for now, all right? Because there's, I mean, no point. On top of when you withdraw, that's another 3%. So you put in 100 Polygon, the percent deposit tax, now you have 97. So now 97 Polygon's making money. And then after 28 days, you pull out the 97, there's probably going to be a 3% tax on that as well. So, which I'm okay with because, believe it or not, the more you tax all this crap, all right? You know, the more sustainable the project becomes. So what you want to do is you want to claim the reward. So because there, there's a constant counter that goes up that you know produces your income. So you can pull that out without pulling out the principal. And, was, and I'm guessing that the claim when you claim rewards is a three percent tax on that as well. So yeah, so yeah, so it's mo so this is just draining because people are claiming. Okay. But yeah, this thing is kind of crazy because it's just constant claims and constant deposits. Uh, I wonder if we can actually see how much the withdrawal for this is. Yeah, he withdrew 66.42 Matic. And 180. Now, I'm guessing that I'm going to see something similar over here as well. Yeah, see, I like this method because it just tells me how much is out, so I don't have to click anything. So, yeah, so you can see how much inflows, and then you can see the outflow. So right now, everyone's still, this is what I'm mostly doing, especially because, you know, right now, I'm not sure if we're going back up yet. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot of fakery, there's a lot of distractions, there's a lot of chaos this week. Um, there's just so much FUD, but... We really need July 13th to come and go so we can get like the first of three major news pieces to start moving things along. But until then, it's just going to be a free-for-all like food fight, essentially. Okay, so uh, so they just came up BUSD, great. So apparently you have to, they vote on it, so I, I don't care. You can vote whenever, but... The next coins are, pro are that are listed so far: Avax, BNB, Phantom. I think there was another one. Actually, I could check on Chrome. Let me actually take a look. Uh, Ethereum. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to do Ethereum unless it's wrapped Ethereum on like BSC chain, because <laughs> I'm not paying those stupid gas fees. <clears throat> so, I personally am hoping everyone's going to vote for BNB, right? Like BNB is just definitely my favorite chain, definitely my favorite coin. It's got everything I could want, and it's also run by a competent Chinese guy who's not an evil globalist. So, you know, what's not what's not to like? Hmm. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna add it to the playlist. I am definitely invested in this project. I'm gonna be uh, increasing more and more. And then at some point, obviously, I'll just start compounding and withdrawing profits, you know, doing it, you know, 50-50. Uh, so just remember, you're going to be paying constant gas fees for every action that you have to ultimately do in here, staking and withdrawing. So, you know, uh, just make sure you have enough gas fees. So you're doing polygon staking, make sure you have plenty of polygon. I leave one polygon. If you're doing Binance Dollar, you know, 1.5% to 2% Binance coin. Is what I like to leave as my gas. All right. So, so yeah, definitely check out stablefund.app. I'm still assuming that's a Ponzi, but it's very well run. But on the other hand, you know, I work backwards, and it does look, you know, there are, you know, some decent cases that it is legit, and it's been around for at least a long enough while, so he hasn't rug pulled yet. Um, 
So we'll see how this goes. And if it does uh, keep going, I know it's going to last at least 200 days. Because that's what the uh, Phoenix other thing that does that claims the same thing and pays out the same amount, 1.5% a day, uh, does. And apparently there are a lot of people doing copycats of this. So be aware of that. And it's also possible that this is a copycat of them. So eh, I don't know. But on the other hand, I mean, this guy already has a hookup with like a credit card company. So you could buy crypto through their app. I mean... Uh, that requires actual KYC in real life for, for, for the guy who runs this site. They, 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 don't, they don't just randomly do whatever, especially because they have to make sure you're, A, you have money, and then B, you're a real person, and C, you're not a terrorist. Like, there are actual laws and shit that govern this. And he's already passed, you know, both the Apple Store and the Google Play Store. So, I mean, anything's possible. It could be a scam, so always keep that in mind. But, I mean, he's got a lot He's got a lot of good things going for him. So, yeah, I'm willing to play. I'm, uh, I'm definitely willing to play. All right? But just remember, same rule as always, don't put all your eggs in one basket. All right? I mean, look what happened with the Terra Luna people. They thought everything was great. Look what happened. They lost everything. I think 20 people or 17 people or whatever at least, you know, you know, off with themselves when the crash happened. And, of course, nothing's going to happen to Doe Kwan. Just a lot of bitching and complaining. Same thing with Hunter Biden, and really, the Democrats. A lot of bitching and complaining, but no one's held to account. Like, nobody's ever held to account to anything. So, yeah. Alright, so that's that. Markets look like they're open, too. <clears throat> yeah, it's not even down all that much. Again, it's just going to be real choppy, man. And I want to watch the Greg Manorino video, too. And also, I need to save my voice, because... My voice is just, it doesn't hurt anything, it's just, it, it just tends to do it when I talk too much and then I don't eat, and it's just annoying because I'm not hungry. So, I'm still trying to lose weight, which, uh, you know, my body's not doing a very good job of, so I'm still stuck at 189.6, it's very frustrating. But it is, of course, my fault because I ate too much, but I decided to eat another meal late last night, so, you know, what a surprise, right? All right, uh, I'll see you all on Monday. We'll be back to probably stock market stuff. Unless, of course, I find yet another good project like this. Because right now, I only want the absolute best projects. All right? And the absolute best projects are the ones I'm going to put my own money into. All right? This situation is still very unstable. It's more stable than before, right? When the stock, when the S&P 500 was, like, crashing and the debt markets were imploding. Uh, but we're definitely not out of it yet, man. We're, right now, it's just, like... I don't know, we're in the calm part in the middle of a storm or something, or a hurricane or whatever. I don't know, I've never been in a hurricane. So, yeah. All right, well, let's just see how this plays out. But I mean, it's a Friday, so whatever. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this uh, video and this channel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And I don't really have anything more to say because I'm already tired. So I'm going to let you go. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I else have to say. Harry said, yeah, there we go. I got some kind of burp out. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, I should give you an update on my position. So I have one share of SPDN, so that's barely shorting the market. And then the rest is in Jeppy. I also bought some DVN, Devon Energy Company, because... I, think, I mean, I think eventually oil will come back up, but that requires that everything else comes back up. So it's really more of a very long-term play. And I'm just riding off of the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit's um, dividend income. And, of course, I have my J.P. Morgan C-Class. Right? I'm just very defensive. But I ultimately do want to buy more region financial. But the problem is I keep pumping more money in my stock market account when I should be saving it up to buy my stupid offshore company. I'm going to need like $3,400. In fact, offshore company dot com. Uh, yeah. uh, order now. There is a thing. I, I think it's this page. So select your country. Where do you want to form your company? Please. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was like, what? My jurisdiction would be British Virgin Islands, I believe. We meet or beat any comparative price, please call or seek it during checkout for details. Yeah, I would definitely have to call before I order this. 
Okay, so this whole thing, what do I actually get? Um, bank account, well, I obviously, have, wait, bank accounts, corporate credit card, company and corporate is able to assist its corporate clients signing bank accounts and obtain corporate cards from my government and a wide variety of blah, blah, blah. I really just need the bank account. Oh, man. Well, I might have, okay, so this is uh, so 2345. Yeah, it's nominee, shareholder, company, security, direct companies, credit, double primary, credit, 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 I have to. I'm thinking I will need to get this, but I have to find out what this is because the IRS says that if you own 10% or more shares of a offshore company, then it just simply it's called subpart F. Then basically just counts as your as you. So so it doesn't work. But if you're below that, then it really does count as an offshore company. I think that's what this is because I I don't know nine ten other people so I'll probably have to ask about this but I'm guessing that's what it is I yeah, I hope so uh, uh, that's just not apply to me I think provision of a web-based email address why the hell do I have to why is this hundred fifty dollars I do I'll just use proton mail for free uh, no no Hmm. I don't know. I'm definitely have to call them, but I really just I just need an offshore company. I need like ten stooges, which I assume what this is, right? So I can be below subpar F legally, right? Because we gotta do this by the book, right? Even though it's gonna piss off the IRS, gotta do it by the book. Uh, these are all required fees. So what else is actually in these required fees? Uh, what do do? Government fees. Uh, attending route. Yeah, I have to. F I also have to ask them what is this one? Uh, what is the annual renewal fee? Two ninety five annual compliance fee. Oh, annual license fee. Oh, this is actually a lot lower than I thought. Yeah. See, I kind of want to keep buying stocks, but a we might go down, and then b you know it's taking me for because. You know, I re I'm finding that I really do need like a separate offshore uh, bank account to really separate myself from all this other stuff. Uh, corporation fees. Uh, okay, that's cheap. Client requirement, really a corporation, the company. Yeah. So, how do I establish personal accounts? Yeah, this better. This this is still pretty expensive, three hundred fifty dollars. So I better actually get a actual bank account, All right? I don't even care about the cards, though I will get a card. But really need the stupid bank account, and I have to ask about it. Yeah, so this set me back. So I got three thousand one hundred and twenty. So yeah, all right. Anyway, like I said, I gotta let you go. So all you go, check out stablefund.app. There's no referral link. And I'll be monitoring these every day now. Actually, throughout the whole day, the contract sizes. So, the thing is, a lot of people are claiming the hell out of this. But supposedly, over time, the Matic balance has. Can I actually look at this? I know I said we let you go, but you know me, I always got to do. Uh, transactions. Matic balance, that's it. Oh, beautiful. What's this weird black line historic value god what is what here All right can I just get rid of the okay you gotta be kidding me all right well I'm just gonna have to try to figure out what this is so 4.5 mil 4.9 mil oh you can see this was April 5th, 2022. Over time, keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, 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 down a bit, up, 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 down a bit, up, 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 down a bit. Yeah, and it's kind of been leveling out since June. Probably because of all the crazy compounding that's been going on. Alright. Yeah, so this is definitely something I'm going to be keeping an eye on. But definitely very healthy uh, TBL, and then we can't we can't do analytics on this because it doesn't track finance dollar, you know. So I just have to do it manually. All right, for real, I'll let you go. Oh man, a 16-minute video turned into a 25-minute video. But hey, I had the goal. 
hey, I know everyone's interested in the offshore company thing, but like I said, you know, I do the research, but I want to do it first before I tell you about it. All right. So, all right. Enjoy your weekend. See you all Monday. Thanks.